When you think of art, what do you see? Do you see a painting? A sculpture? A child with a crayon in her hand? Do you see an art museum filled with timeless masterpieces? When I see art, I think about drawings and paintings as well, but I also see a photo an artist had edited, a beautiful snapshot of the sea. I see a building, its beautiful architecture making the street a work of art. Art has no limits. A student isn't limited to painting or drawing or sculpting. There is a whole other world of art that until recently was out of an artist's reach, and that is technology. In today's art world, we have access to programs like Photoshop, SketchUp, and Sketchbook Pro, where you can make a mediocre photo look professional. You can use SketchUp to make 3D blueprint designs for buildings, something not easily done before and not accessible to K-12 students. And with Sketchbook Pro, a student can have an entire art studio at their fingertips with no hassle and no mess. In this day and age, K-12 students will be more adapted to using a computer. And since there are so many art-oriented software programs, it would be a waste for an art educator not to give their students the opportunity to explore and use these programs. By using technology, and specifically art software, with students who are opening doors to students who might not think of themselves to be artists because they can't paint, draw, or sculpt like a traditional artist, but they can express themselves in an equally artistic way through technology. Let us not deny our students the chance to become artists in whatever they feel comfortable, whether that be by using a paintbrush or a computer mouse. Use technology in art education.